Scorpio. What's popping, water baby? What's going on with you guys for mid month April? Hey, boo, hey, this first time to my channel. I'm Mocha. Also, if it's your first time to my channel, look out. I cuss. Make us a little, make us a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say. Oh, but I'm a cuss. So, if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube. They can better assist you guys without cussing, because me, the way I'm set up, I'm going to do that. To the returning subscribers, you guys, Familia, what's popping? Welcome to the new subscribers to the family. Y'all, we all are dysfunctional. We don't fight and fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel. But we do cuss. We grow. We love. We enlighten one another, we evolve. Posy vibes only around this place, right? So you guys, this will be for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers for the sign of Scorpio for mid-month April. Okay, we're going to dig into these messages and see what is going down. This is not a personal, it's simply a general reading. Okay, if you need a personal reading, that information can be found within the description below. Thank you guys uh, for liking, sharing, subscribing my videos, as well as um, commenting, you guys, and letting me know how this resonates how it doesn't resonate i appreciate all of the feedback we family you understand everybody ain't gonna like what the hell you gotta say but that don't mean you ain't got to say it we from us we we here okay so you guys hit me up if you need that personal without further ado let's rock all right <clears throat> we're gonna start off with you guys intuitive messages you guys take take what resonates leave the rest all right just 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 you know don't go all in depth about how it didn't resonate, you know, because, you know, just did it, did it. If you, if you don't want to come and you don't got to tell me shit, I'm okay with that. Just like the video. Did, however you rock it, telling you what to do, do what you feel, Scorpio. That's the problem. People want to be telling Scorpio what the fuck to do. The Scorpio like, who, me? Nah, cornbread, I'm going to show you something different, all right? Catch up high sauce because this ride is moving too fast for even you to realize what the fuck is going on. And when you do, I be hopped off shift in the water, baby. Smooth sailing, you okay? That's what people don't know about Scorpio. Oh, but I know. So we from Mars, all right? So for uh, mid-month April, the intuitive messages that I get, did get with uh, meditating on the energy of Scorpio was... Trust issues, new love, abundance, telepathy, preventing, releasing, soul contracts, contracts, forgiveness, new job, past life, deceit, karma, transformation, investments. New home, independence, truth, spiritual path, spiritually protected, water goddess, come on now, foresight, sacred sex, marriage, divorce, throat chakra, communication, and premonition. All right, so this is going to be a very interesting month. I'm also here in Libra. I also heard the word full moon. So this Libra full moon is going to be very interesting for you all as far as and I'm picking up the energy of, especially when it um, has to do with the aspects of the dreams, as well as any of you guys who have like some type of telepathic um, connection to someone, you actually kind of feel your, you kind of feel their emotions. It may be a bit intense, especially if you're connecting to any of those, um, like those Jupiter energies with this Jupiter retrograde having to do like uh, Sagittarius or Pisces okay some of you all could be experiencing um, either this person could be experiencing past life karma this could also be tied to you if you're dealing with those particular signs but it's kind of like if you notice it, it's kind of going to be um, kind of like a repeat around the same thing that were occurring either last year or the last four years okay so some of you guys have this gift of foresight during this time where you're able to kind of foresee things that are to come. And you know what you need to do, but if there are very hard decisions that are needing to be made. So for some of you all, there will be some type of like force change that I'm feeling. So understand that it's not happening to you, yet for you, okay? So the angel message that you guys got for the month is life review. Archangel Jeremiel, okay? Take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. So that's why I heard that Libra full moon, the first message, message that you got in your spirit message, y'all, come on, was the balancing act. Karmic justice, 
the seeds that have been sown will be that that will be harvesting. So if you have sown seeds of malice, if you have sown seeds of deception, if you have sown seeds of um, abandonment, then that is what's going to be occurring during this time, okay? So a lot of you all can, <clears throat> and because your energy is that of uh, Pluto, Plutonic, it's about reincarnations, deaths, rebirths, okay? So a lot of you guys are strongly connected, whether it's um like a karmic piece, okay, to others as well as your own past life karma all right so a lot of you guys are or will be attracting um energies that were connected to your past life for some are good some are you might need to step the fuck back away from not so good okay so let's discern a lot of you all um some of you all who were dealing with issues with the court system this could have to do with children you could also be dealing with the sign of libra i'm also hearing the sign of aquarius okay for some of you all you could be um justice will be going into your favor during this time we're dealing with court cases again it has to do with your fruit so to each his own but i definitely feel like i'm speaking to those scorpions who did who have <clears throat> excuse me who have and then also the throat chakra some of you guys will be in this place where you needing not to hold or do not hold do not stand no type of resistance when it comes to speaking your truth say what you mean and mean what you say and make sure that your actions as well as how you act to other people's bullshit is acting accordingly because understand that just as people come in our lives as karma spirit is going to bring you this awareness that for some of you all, you are a karma to someone else, which is why when we talk about the divine feminine, the divine masculine, I do not talk about the karmic simply because I am the karmic of somebody the fuck else. We all are. It's the it's the role that we chose to come and play here. So a lot of you all, there's some sense of like knowing your role or finding your balance within this role of this little fake ass matrix that we call fucking life here within the 3D that we've already aligned on the heavenly realms, okay? So for some of you all, there will be some type of alignment that is coming within the self for most of you all. And it has to do with actually not just limiting yourself because I hate when people just say, I'm a light worker. Baby, understand in order to become a light worker, you have to first foremost be able to master that of the self as well as the ways of your shadow self in acknowledgement and recognition as well as in ways to know how to finesse that shit. You know I'm 100, so we're going to talk about it. All right. So it's no judgment of the shadow self of the light self. I'm a master of both the darkness and the light. Which is why I'm able to see smooth through the shit that's coming forth towards me. And it's actually balancing yourself, balancing the truth within yourself to be accepting to that moving forward. Because a lot of you all are carrying heavy things. And the heaviest month, all of that, in the mid-month of April that you will come to recognition of is the judgment upon yourself. For some of you all... Your intuition will be extremely heightened. Some of y'all may be seeing spiders, okay? If you have if you have some type of contractual agreement, then I feel like this is also tied together. If there's some type of contractual agreement, okay, um, especially if you have this fear around signing contracts due to some type of deal that went bad, there is this is some type of um like a rectification of karma, okay? So it's good karma. For some of you all, you need to use your intuition and not be in this negative space of actually projecting negative things that could go wrong. Only see the positive in situations right now. So instead of seeing the glass half empty, see it half full, okay? And for some of you all, you may be having dreams and premonitions of things that are to come. For some of you all, it does have to do with like worldwide things. Some of y'all may be dreaming of things, aspects of like poverty and things that are to be coming and shaking up in the United States. And for some of you all, you want to share this information you're in this place where you want to put this information out you want to um you want to help others you want to free yourself from um worldly worldly perspectives around things some of y'all may also be in this place where you kind of questioning your religion your tradition and what it is that your belief where your beliefs lie especially when it comes to family travel you're moving from a place of fearlessness you're not perceiving things um from a negative aspect anymore you're kind of looking at things and actually stepping out of the situation if it has to do with the relationships and partnerships you're stepping out of your personal beliefs around things based on your attachment to the situation and looking at it from like an outside view and you kind of just see, that's going to help you guys see through some bullshit in order to rectify this situation and release yourself that you know that you got to release yourself from. This could be marriage, this could be partnerships, this could be collaborations, this could even have to do with assets, okay? <clears throat> For some of you all, 
after doing some type of reflection, okay? For some of you all, the, some of y'all don't know what situations are karmic. And I feel like you know, but there is some type of illusion that you've built yourself, either you or another person. Don't want to see a situation for being some type of karmic, karmic lesson, therefore preventing either you or the other person from moving forward. There's like someone wants to be some type of a roadblock to another. And I feel like the intentions aren't really bad, but they're very manipulative because it's kind of like, it's like someone saying, you know, I don't want you. But I don't want nobody else to have you either. You get what I'm saying? And it, and it has to do with that own, that with, with one's own insecurity within the self. Well, for some people, it's really acknowledging the fact that you know what I never paid attention to to the fact that I really don't know how to be to myself. So instead of looking at it from a looking at it from a place of um, less than or seeing it from a place of uh, lacking, you know, be more optimism about the actual experience and the wisdom that it comes to bring your life because the only thing you're gonna only thing it comes to reveal is a greater aspect of yourself to yourself. Okay? For some of you all, uh you guys are ending cycles possibly with Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, um, Aries, Capricorn, Libra. They want you to know that you are spiritually protected, and this will definitely affect and change totally how you look at things, how you how you choose to attach yourself to particular beliefs, how you choose to perceive the world going forward, how you choose to actually perceive your path going forward. What is it that you need to do? What is it that you need to release from? For some of you all, there is some type of um, crown, chakra, crown chakra activation type like download some of you all may be dreaming of geometrical geometrical uh symbols during this time they are connected to some type of uh, comedic past life for some of you all and a lot of you all may be in this place of really 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 digging deep within your ancestry and it definitely has to do with this life review because a lot of you all are veering through uh past life karma during this time it's an energy um <clears throat> it's an energy for some of you all you have this um some of y'all got a badass download Whomever I'm speaking to who have been kind of, um, someone deals with dragons in nature. And I don't know if I picked this up on you guys before. Someone has this equalizing energy. Like, someone could be some type of, like, earth angel. Like, um, trying to, like, sift through understanding the way of this dimension. For those of you who are signing contracts, some of you all know that there is some type of beautiful blessing on the other side, but there is this sense of feeling like a lack of or feeling as if you lost something or you're going to lose something by like surrendering. You feel as if it's like some of you guys are looking at um, a particular situation as if it's like, if I surrender, I lose. It's like I have to win at all costs. Even if it, even if I lose the actual individual, the situation, shift, the relationship, the partnership. If, if this is you or someone else in your energy, some of you guys are going to be finding out that you're clear audience during this time. Some of you guys may be having the ringing of the ears, and some of you guys may also be hearing soft voices. No, Scorpio, your ass ain't going crazy yet. However, you do have. This beautiful gift for some of you all called clear cognizance, and for some of you all that is clear audience. <clears throat> and you wanting to release, the, you know, the way that you look at religion, the way that you view tradition, so that you can really there's a sense of like unleashing your power, but not in a way that it's going to be persecuting to yourself. So don't allow others to project their negative thoughts and their beliefs on how you believe in your aspects or your gifts. Um, up on you because I definitely see the energy of that. It's like this surfacing of other people's fears and you really need to protect and guard your energy during this time and really respect your energy. If you feel your phone ring and you look at that motherfucker and it's Sam I am and you said fuck Sam because every time Sam called me he asked me for a damn ride, some gas money or some shit that I ain't got the energy for today. If that phone rung, I don't give a damn Sam called six times. Respect how you feel. Because there is something that was in you that told you not to answer that shit for a reason. Because every time you go against answering Sam and Mary Sue and Sue Helen and shit, then what happens? You're mad. When you when yourself told yourself, fuck that shit. Listen to your inner fucking Scorpio during this time. That's right. Right? So still, what messages do you have? For my beautiful Scorpions. 
in love. Mid month April. <clears throat> what messages do you have for my beautiful siblings? What can they expect in love from the 15th to the 30th of April? Yeah, I know we passed that day, y'all. We, we late, late, but that's all right. For some of you all, <clears throat> some of y'all who are dealing with a cancer, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, I definitely feel like this person wants to take a leap of faith. Some of you guys really want to open up and offer love. Um, in a relationship, you want to take a leap of faith, possibly with the earth sign as well, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, for some of y'all this Aries, for some of y'all this is Cancer for sure, if it's a water sign, but I definitely feel like for some of you all, you want to take this leap of faith with someone who possibly you left out in the cold and you feel like this person has left you out in the cold and it has to do with a lack of expression of emotion, okay? I definitely feel like for some of you all, either you or this other person feel like they have put in enough work to try and wait for someone to be vulnerable for so so far. during this time especially if you're dealing with an air sign as well fuck it all the signs are here okay some of y'all could want to take a leap of faith but there has been communication issues possibly someone being abandoned uh someone having kind of internal con or, or internally conflicted during this time about taking a leap of faith because there's a fear of movement forward it's like a fear of the unknown of what may happen because you know, will this person sting my ass back or will Scorpio sting me if I decide to give that damn offer? Okay. For some of you all, this is actually putting in some type of work. Yeah, some type of work in a partnership where possibly someone could have secluded themselves or someone could have due to indecision, a fear of vulnerability, opening up and possibly for some of y'all a damn third party, possibly with the Virgo. Okay. Um, could also involve, involve the Taurus or a Libra. Um Aries, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. For some of you all, this is about ending a cycle, going into a new cycle after heartbreak. Like only seeing love from a form, only seeing the thing that you've gone through um, from a spectrum of love in order to move forward. Especially if this is some type of family dynamic, like you have children with this person. For some of you all, this could be someone who you've known since childhood. This could also be uh, someone who just has some type of like family dynamic that that, that person can have family dynamic with like a blended family you know that person can have children and you can have children for some of you all during this time either you some y'all may have an earth sign capricorn towards virgo trying to hold on to you okay some of y'all are watching a fire sign <clears throat> hmm. for those of you who are dealing with an aries or a sagittarius person it should also be leo this could be a past life relationship and it seems like there's some type of like evening of the skills for some of you all this is someone who you're already spiritually married to okay so for some of y'all this could be a twin flame union okay i definitely feel like there's a sense of both parties having the passion for one another but one party walking away from wanting to put in the work they're internally confident that they just really want to focus on manifesting their new beginning and for some of you all it's a part of a soul contract for you to release someone before you can move forward okay so i definitely feel like for some of you all this some of y'all could actually be moving forward with someone who you work with for those of you who are dealing with uh, earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, I definitely feel like this could be someone who you left out in the cold due to financial uh, struggle or this person could have left you out chasing some ch chasing the dough. Okay, I see someone could have been chasing the dough or someone was put in a situation where they had to leave or have to move on in order to survive. Maybe someone couldn't go back to their family or their friends in order for help. They had this lack poverty mindset. So they left because they thought the grass was greener. They, they, they got they got that upon that they had fake ass grass, but it forced another person to work on themselves. Now this person wants to come back and they want to rebuild the relationship. They want to rebuild the trust. However, Someone is holding on to what once happened in the past, and someone is really don't trust this person. They hold on to their damn money. I don't trust you. You show me who you were in the past. You're a user. I feel with the perception that I have that you were a taker, so why the fuck would I share with you? So it's kind of causing the relationship to kind of be stagnant. There is a sense of taking a leap of faith and moving forward because I do see that love can actually be replenished, but there is going to be slow moving um, progress as far as uh, restoring the trust, okay? Um, if you're dealing with air signs, Gemini Aquarius. Oh, Earth signs I do see again. This offer could be stable, y'all. This could be with a Capricorn or a Taurus, okay? Virgo is here specifically too, but I strongly feel stronger towards um well, I really feel stronger really towards Virgo and Taurus, but Capricorn is here, okay? So any Earth sign. If you're dealing with air, Gemini Libra Aquarius. If you're dealing with the with the sign of Libra, you and this person could also be kind of 
you, you Libra, if you're dealing with an air sign, this person could be stalking you to see if you're dealing with someone else or for some for that matter, I'm hearing doing for someone or doing for someone else's children, especially if you had issues with um finances or some type of lack thereof around children with someone who's an air sign. I feel like you could have been married to this person or this could be around karmic justice to like rectify a past life cycle with actually like offering some type of partnership or codependency where there's a mending of fences here. But someone don't know how to communicate. You are this air sign. I feel like this is the air sign. Talks to Scorpio crazy and nothing gets fucking resolved because we can't come to a solution because we can't get past the part that when you got me where you had me fucked up at. If you just turn to the left, I can show you where you had me fucked up at so we can move on right on along and fix the shit, okay? I definitely feel like this person is very indecisive. This person really has communication issues. Like they're very, communication is not their strong suit. They leave you in this place of disillusionment, either you or this other person. This person could also be um, in denial, especially Scorpio, if you and this person share an earth sign child, particularly a Taurus, okay? Um, this person could also be questioning that child's paternity uh, due to some type of third party, um, third party, <clears throat> excuse me, some type of third party um, relationship. And I do feel like this is something that can go into May, into Taurus season, because I do see the stirring up of the shit in order to move into a new cycle is going to be occurring mid-month, April, okay? So that's what I have if you're dealing with the air signs. But I do see, again, there, there being some type of mending fences if someone is willing to take a leap of faith, be forgiving, and release what once happened in the damn past to move forward, okay? Um, and we can't fix the damn, we can't, have, we can't fix what happened in the past, but we can adjust how we deal with each other moving forward, all right? Um, if you are dealing with water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, I definitely feel like, again, someone possibly wants to take... If you're dealing with water, I see there being a lot of love here, but they're also being a bit of clinginess. Someone has this fear of like letting someone kind of live their way or have some type of like um, insecurity issues when it comes to like they feel as if if someone, like, let's say for instance, um, this could be if you travel for work, okay, your partner is calling you 24-7 on the damn diamond. You just kind of need your space. And I feel like you don't want to communicate to this person that you need your space because you also have some type of um, issue that you need to heal from as far as abandonment, rejection, or feeling as if uh, someone one is not going to be there to give the other what they need. I feel like if you're dealing with the water sign, ultimately I do see just love there. I see you guys going into um new cycles. Okay, for some of y'all, this is like um like for those of you who've been dating for a while, you may be speaking about engagement during this time. You may be speaking about marriage, speaking about children. Like there's some type of acceleration if you're dealing with some type of water sign. But for some of y'all who are dealing with two water signs, you're going to leave somebody the fuck out in order to move forward with another water sign who might be that same person's zodiac. So you kind of skeptical about that because it's like, oh, shit. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You know, but even when you're dealing with water, for some of you all, you really need to talk about finances because I feel like somebody is financially irresponsible as well, which is preventing you guys from moving forward. And for some of you all, you really want to go, like, I really want to move forward with you, but damn it, you're going to have us in the po house. Fix your shit, okay? Uh, so it's a conversation that's needed to be had that I do see it being had and things moving forward in a healthy way in the month of April. Who lasts? Fire. You deal with fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sag, particularly in Aries and a Sagittarius. I feel like this has to do with past life karma. I feel like in the past life, someone could have held on to the point where there was no return and they held on to some type of illusion. And I feel like it could be a cycle that is recurrent in this life. So what's going on is the fact that um, someone could be releasing themselves from this rectifying past life karma you and this person could also uh for some of you all you could be wanting to offer this person a long-term um commitment like you could be wanting to talk to this person about marriage some of y'all could also be dealing with legal issues having to do with an aries leo sagittarius for some of you all like i said with the fire signs there is a lot of passion but there is a lot of internal conflict because someone is afraid of rejection or afraid of the other person leaving them even though i feel like this person you or this a person has been gone for quite some time like like spirit been already putting y'all in the floor of practice but to mentally know that you left and to, to for me to have to accept that it's like it's an issue that i'm feeling it's, it's i feel like it's because there's so much love here but the prize supersedes the love which allow which which allows the door open for third party situations abandonment shit uh communication issues things not moving forward i do see if you're dealing with fire this person could be 
communicating to you. You are this other person that you're moving forward. I'm done with the shit. I want what I deserve. I'm going into a new cycle where I'm going to be abundant. So in order to do this shit, I have to close cycles. And for some of you all, you possibly have to close cycles on the Aries or Sagittarius, possibly an Earth sign as well, in order to see abundance. Okay, which is possibly going to cause a towel moment. Some of y'all, this could be happening to you. Someone's going to close the door, which is going to ultimately cause a towel moment to the ego. But I feel like for some of you all, you're having to be strong, even though there's this energy of like defensiveness. You and this person could be being defensive towards you because they're having strength and pushing forward because ultimately their end goal is, or your end goal, Scorpio, is abundance, fulfillment, what it is that you want, what it is that you desire, but it's going to be after facing the towers around something that you look to be stable or that you actually we're trying to manifest some stability out of, but in the, at the end of the day, can't fight the feeling that, that your truth is these people, places, things, situationships that are ending, they have to go because they're going to continuously put you in this place of feeling as if I'm insecure, what I don't have, what may happen, or you rejecting me, or, you know, it's putting you in this place of persecuting yourself versus actually appreciating yourself. You know, giving yourself compliments, being in this energy of gratitude, okay? So my best advice for you all during this time is to protect your energy and respect your energy around these moon cycles. And if you're having to release certain situations, don't fight the process. It's happening for you, not to you. Remember that, okay? So this is what I have for the month of, uh, for mid-month, April for the, uh, for the sign of Scorpio. I love you all. If you need that personal reading, you guys. Please hit me up. The information, again, is in the description. And please comment, like, share, subscribe. Let me know how you guys felt. Talk to you later. Much love.